This is my Chromebook. It's a Dell 5400 running. Let me see what it's running. It says over here, Intel Whiskey Lake processor. So I'm gonna go through some things to get it running. Well, I've done most of the stuff. This is just to show that it's running. If you follow mrchromebox.tech and you use the firmware, firmware utility over here, you can install legacy, rw underscore legacy. We get to the screen over here and you can install rw legacy firmware. Once you do that, you can use chrx and you can install Lubuntu, which is what I did. So this is assuming you've done this and then this chrx. And so I think the next thing I'm going to try is I'm going to see if I can repair. Should I try to repair it? So the problem with this is after installing RW Legacy, it doesn't exactly get you, well, it gets you to the uh, Google Sarin BIOS and that thing isn't pretty at all because after you change settings, it verts back. So I'll show you. So after you do RW Legacy, let me I'll shut this computer down. So when you, I'm gonna at least try to boot into the live flash drive for Lubuntu, which I downloaded and installed using Rufus plugging this into the side. Hopefully mouse support works. It might not work, so you need a USB mouse. Turning this on, and again, this has RW Legacy already installed. And I tried using CHRX on it already, but anyways, I'm gonna press Control L to go into, oh, darn. I'm gonna press Control L to go into the f custom firmware. And then I need to press one to go into Tyanacore. And I'm gonna show you when it boots up. Actually, this actually worked. The USB flash drive worked. And so I can try Lubuntu if I want to. So let's try Lubuntu. This worked a lot easier than uh, the last time I tried. So that's it. It's really pretty fast. This is USB 3. It boots into Lubuntu pretty quickly and easily. Hopefully my, I don't know what that means over there. It has two batteries going on. Anyways, so that's it. I have Ubuntu all booted up and if I can find where the Wi-Fi is. I think it's this last one. I can log into my Wi-Fi, it's the last icon over here. So I'm gonna log into my Wi-Fi. I logged in. And now from the bottom left, I can boot up something like, um, internet like Firefox.
it's pretty snappy, not too bad, I'm running off the USB 3.0 flash drive. I can actually install it onto the flash and a different flash drive if I wanted to, I think. Yeah. Using the install Ubuntu. The reason why I used uh, CHRX to install Ubuntu.